question 103 now in this question which of the following muscular disorders is inherited now if we see these options there is tetany which is muscular spasm due to insufficient calcium there is myasthenia gravis which is an autoimmune disorder botulism this is a kind of food poisoning due to clostridium botulinum and this also results in muscle paralysis and the second choice that we see here muscular dystrophy now this is a genetic disorder in which a important part of the structural muscular protein dystrophin is not formed so the gene for dystrophin is with mutation and that is leading to this genetic disease so in this case our answer would be option 2 right so now let us take the next question here question 104 the ciliated epithelial cells are required to move particles or mucus in a specific direction in humans these cells are mainly present in now bile duct and bronchioles so bronchioles do have ciliated epithelium but not bile duct next one fallopian tubes again have ciliated epithelium but not the pancreatic duct and the third one eustachian tube now this is made up of elastic cartilage and the salivary duct again it is having non ciliated epithelium and in the fourth option bronchioles and fallopian tubes now both of these structures are lined by ciliated epithelium so this makes option 4 as the correct answer now next question here question number 105 match the column 1 with column 2 now in first one column 1 p wave p wave is seen in the ECG when there is depolarization of the atria so here if we see the various choices it is the fourth one so a will go with the fourth choice qrs complex now qrs complex is depolarization of the ventricles so that means b will go with one now t wave is repolarization of the ventricles that is given here in the two so this will go with t wave and reduction in the size of the t wave now this is a condition seen in the ecg when the person is suffering from myocardial ischemia that is the myocardium is receiving insufficient oxygen so there is a flattening in the t wave and depression of the st segment so here if we see the choices coronary ischemia now coronary ischemia would be same as myocardial ischemia so this will go with three now if we see the choices given over here So the correct answer would be the answer one in which all the choices are correctly matched and this is answer one. Now let us move to the next question.